Happy Monday, Reject Nation. You know our names. So, okay, yeah, a bunch of boxes. We're moving out of here. Gotta be out of here by the end of the month. Um, it's Monday. Put up our Game of Thrones Season 1, uh, no, Season 8, Episode 1 <laughs> reaction this morning. And um, I wanted to talk about some of the response that's happened not not just directly to there's not reaction hate comments all right we're not going to read through the comments and whatever mm -hmm. that's why i didn't put that we're doing that in the title um because uh, first off there's a reason i read the comments and normally i actually when it comes to anything that has a passionate fandom i tend to not read the comments in those videos stuff like star wars any of our game of thrones trailer reactions uh <laughs> things like that just because yeah. i know what it's like to get sucked into the wormhole of darkness and not everyone in every fandom is it is toxic i i'm well aware of that but we all know that it, anything with passion usually breeds some kind of toxicity in the way we communicate with one another we tend to not attack problems we tend to attack people and i just I just generally don't like doing that, and as even though I've been doing this for several years, after a while, it's some every once in a while there's something that will just get to you. <laughs> it is something that will just get to you. Still human, and you still have You're all still those human. emotions. It's so much easier said than done. To you know that phrase, it's easier said than done. That often uh, I, I might say that to or towards people of. Just listen to, pay attention to if your video has more likes than dislikes. If it has more likes than dislikes, that means you're doing something right. Um, you know, whatever advice that people always throw my way, or that I throw people's way, sometimes when I'm on the receiving end, I have a hard time remembering that too. I am human, just like everyone else. So uh, what what just happened was I was feeling like uh, my brain was all scattered. I was like, at work, we're, we're, we shot a sketch that we're going to put up later this month. And we wanted it to be the last sketch we shot in this apartment, so I was up editing it very late last night. Um, I, we hired um, an editor, Eric and Nerd Chronic, to do the, to edit the Game of Thrones cut down for us. And the reason I read the comments, <laughs> the reason I went to the comments, was strictly because uh, we shot it differently, and, it, and we have a, an, an editor. It's the first time we've ever asked someone to edit for us. So I literally went there not to read the comments on what people think of us. I wanted to see what they thought of the edit. Of the new stuff <laughs> yeah, the stuff um, that we're testing out right now. Not one comment about the editing there. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, I got sucked into the wormhole <laughs> of ah, yes. oh, damn. Here it is, and then I put out a community post um and uh, i want i kind of want to go over that because i did edit it but i will bluntly bring up what i first put that had a bit of a negative backlash i'm just i only saw a couple of people comment on it but just in case you read it and if it rubbed you the wrong way if you misunderstood i did want to clarify that and uh you know just talk about some other stuff some specifics of what happened with the with the video and the hate that was there but um First off, uh, I feel like this community post, I'm just going to go over it. It's the one thing that's going to flash on screen in this uncut video. Because I went to work out, clear my mind a little bit. Now we're back here filming. I said, and this is the edited version. I'll tell you the part specifically when it comes up of what uh, it originally said and why I changed it to this. Uh, like every single human being on the planet, I'm having an emotional response right now. Honestly, the way fandoms can be is quite off-putting. I know not everyone already clarified that. <laughs> we paid an editor to do a video for viewers that we knew damn well wouldn't be monetized. And first off, I want to clarify. I want to. I want to elaborate a little bit more on this part because at the end of this uh, this post, I do say there are sketches we spent a whole week working on that weren't monetized, but we did it because we knew the people would love them. Literally, there there are sketches that we will. We, you know, we spent hours shooting, and then like a week to two, just editing through way late in the night, like doing the usual for YouTube, Patreon, and then after hours, just like chipping away at a sketch and doing that right now for one, and. Um, oftentimes it's like like the like for the sketch we did with anita if in order for that bit to work we needed need the song stuck song. in the middle with you and i was like this video is probably going to get a lot of views and it got like 70 to eighty thousand views mm -hmm. which is pretty good right and i knew this video would not be monetized and even though i've spent some money to make this video mm -hmm. it doesn't matter it doesn't matter all right so and, and uh, that usually happens with a lot of our reactions as well. Honestly, as if if we only put up monetized videos, there'd be half the uploads. <laughs> that is yeah. just a fact. 
Uh, there will only be like two movie studios we cover. Yeah. <laughs> because a lot of them are not as friendly about this as you think. And the other side to it is there's a lot of videos that sometimes we cut up certain parts of the reactions not to get it monetized, simply just to not get it blocked worldwide. Yeah. As, uh, more often than not, it's, it's, uh, it has includes copyright content. That's why sometimes we do do sponsorships. That's why sometimes we do push our Patreon page to show that's, uh, to get some of that extra support, which all helps with going towards the real rejects, right? So as I keep going, experience this last season with Game of Thrones, hence why most of these comments are disabled. I'm not sure we want to keep doing reactions for it because it strips the joy away. Like I said, having a response, you're criticizing me for not wanting to wait longer. Okay, I'll just go past that. Sure, we don't make money off of it, and that's not the issue. The issue is that it's a free video for people to watch. It took hours to put together, and no one who's in that video is making a profit off of it. We are essentially dedicating time and money for what? So right now, the line that's here is a flashy view count or even a little bump in subscriber count doesn't mean as much if on our end, the emotional experience of it is tainted. That's what it says now. What I originally put that rubbed a couple people the wrong way, uh, and I completely understand why actually, was I, I said, um, I said, uh, and time and money for what? Uh, meaningless views? Question mark. So I get how that misconstrues because from uh, I, there was a person, I think his name is Troy Baker. I basically replied to him on my phone, but my reply didn't show up on my phone. Mm-hmm. And in the process of trying to make sure my reply went through, I accidentally deleted his comment, <laughs> so I left a comment oh. on this post saying, hey, if you happen to read this, you know, just feel free to leave it again, <laughs> because yeah. that was a total mistake, and I'm acknowledging what you said, and how I know that what I said probably miscommunicated. The whole thing with saying meaningless views is pretty much uh, what I meant here, because I, I did follow it up with saying these sketches have spent a whole week on work and that were monetized, reactions as well. So if this experience is going to be a lot of toxicity, why even bother? If anything, we were just going to do stream alongs for Patreon. So my point with saying that was not to say that if you're not, if our videos aren't monetized or if you're not a patron, then your view is meaningless. That's not at all what I was uh, implying. And I, and I feel like most people did not misread that i feel like most people did in other eyes that whole post would have been filled with just well fine fuck you greg mm-hmm. even though one of them was fuck you greg yeah. but i wasn't mad at them for saying that because uh, of getting upset by it because i was like put myself in their mindset and i'm like oh yeah i, I probably maybe I, I i might have misread that so my whole point with that is i just don't not everything's about views with what we do not not everything yeah. is about some people we know buy views <laughs> not not people i actually know i've met people who've done that some people really just care about getting a high view count, and they could give two shits if uh, the if the video has more dislikes than likes because they're like, doesn't matter, I'm raking in those views. And honestly, there's a part of me that wishes I could just be that way. Uh, <laughs> like, so I could just be like, I don't care if people like this. I just care that it has a lot of views. Yeah. I wish I could, I wish I could be more like that guy because I feel like my life would just be a lot easier because that comes with the territory of there's like a weird line there. I think. Of having that sharkish business mentality. Yeah, yeah. At the same time, the benefit of that is not caring what other people think about you. Yeah, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard to have, want people to like you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, like I, I used to have much more challenging people pleasing qualities, and I've let a lot of that go. I still have some issues with that for sure. So the thing of saying meaningless views, I'm like, nah, that's just not true. There's too many people pleasing videos that I do here just to put up for a gift, knowing that it's not going to generate us anything other than uh, giving the satisfaction to the people who just want to see this video. Yeah, so, yeah. Or, you know, it's relevant. It's something that everybody's talking about. It's something that we ought to cover a way in on, you know, but yeah, because we know that there are people who want to hear about it and who want to see some coverage, you know, so there, there is a back and forth for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, when I put out this post, I did mention, like, I don't know if I want to keep doing the Game of Thrones reactions. And honestly, it's not just today of when this contemplation came in. Uh, I was talking with, I can't drop too many names. I can't drop anyone else's name. But I was talking with our editor, uh, Nerd, uh, Eric Nerdchronic, who knows more people than I do, actually. And he was reminding me of things that I already know I, like I'm always given advice to and stuff, or I'm well aware of, of how you know certain toxicity can erupt over comments, and especially towards 
women uh, in in the, in the community. If, if if the channel's primary demographic is male, yeah. it especially comes with this. I see it on Screen Junkies <laughs> all like almost every movie fights episode. You know, yeah, I see yeah, it on yeah. Screen Junkies all the time. Uh, I see it on plenty of other channels. It happens here. Uh, so it's not just today because a couple of years ago when we did season seven reactions, mm -hmm. it was already kind of a weird year. The apocalypse had happened. I was running this channel primarily by myself. And then, uh, there was a point where we wanted to start doing Patreon and branch out. And then I asked John to partner up and then now you got what the channel is now with John and I. Mm -hmm. So that time though, when we did it, the season seven reactions, that was a real thing of, I love this show. This is my first year covering this show. Mm -hmm. And I hate dealing with the toxicity that comes my way for something I really love. So uh, half of those videos have disabled comments just because I was sick of it. Now, the reason why there's the comment, I didn't disable the comments here is because it talks with YouTube. You got to keep the comments up. You got it. Like, you just have to keep the, otherwise the it affects, that video, engagement. affects video performance and all, all these things, you know, <laughs> and, all these uh, things to be concerned about other than just the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it, it was pretty quick when the video got demonetized. It was like, okay, yeah, that happened pretty quick. So that's why the comments are still up there. And plus the pin comments. That's another reason why I keep the pin comments there because people read that more than they actually read the description box. And, you know, for anyone who's guessing, whether it's Olivia or shouting out Nerd Chronic or a Patreon page, we like having the pin comment there. And you can't have a pin comment if the comments are disabled. That's why they're still there. Just today, this post that I put on the community page wasn't a... <sighs> I'm so filled with rage and anger oh, and fuck, fuck you all guys. these people. Yeah. It's pretty much the energy I have right now of just, uh, you know, I just hate, I don't like, I just don't like dealing with this. I don't want to stress I over Game of Thrones. And I, and I wasn't supposed to read, I literally, it was my fault. It's, it's my fault for reading the comments. I got to put that on me because right. I'm not going to change the way people behave on the internet. I can speak well, against can. it. You can, you can try. <laughs> I can I can speak against how I hate internet bullying and all that. I, I hate that people at attack people and not the... Pr it's like one thing to attack an opinion. It's another thing to attack a person. I like I hate that. Um, you know, so it was my fault for reading because I wanted to see what people thought of the new style for this. And uh, then getting exposed. I, I know what this... I just know what this does to my brain. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't, I wasn't enraged because, and I, so first off, I know some people probably think it's because, uh, Olivia was in the video and that a lot of the comments were in relation to hating on her. And that's not why I put this post out. First off, when it comes to Olivia, mm -hmm. how do I put this? She'll be fine. <laughs> she'll be, okay. She'll she'll be, be okay. fine. She, I, I figured that she might find this funny. In and fact. she and she did. She yeah. she yesterday she was telling she knew that she would get hate. And the thing is, a lot of the women that come on this channel often do if they if they are passionate, energetic, very expressive, opinion. Confident. There's a wide variety of reasons of an energy of a female that rubs people the wrong way sometimes, right? And she's being herself, and I'm not going to ever ask someone to not be themselves. And I love that she's herself always, 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 always. There are people who have come by. I've seen it in uh, collabing with other people on their channels, whatever, where people some, uh, often will alter their opinions, not be completely honest. And she's not that person. Yeah. The f and the other element with Olivia, she's the toughest human being I've ever, ever known. And I don't mean that in the sense of she gets affected by this hate, but she's going to come out of it on top. <laughs> No, she's just not going to get affected by it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I wasn't concerned that... It, it's a very low state. Yeah. I wasn't concerned that she was going to be, like, all emotionally distraught by this. Because it's... Because we... I know her. And anyone who happens to stumble upon this video and knows Olivia in person knows that this ain't going to mean... Like, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a few factors I think about. One, all these people can hate on her. All they want, talk mad shit. 99% of them aren't going to say jack shit to her face. Mm -hmm. Olivia would say that shit to your yeah. face. <laughs> she's she's t like, if there's any level of disrespect happening around us or any level of inequality, mistreatment, she is the first person 
to right that wrong. <laughs> like she will speak up. Yeah. John and I will contemplate. We you know? are we are reserved. You know? <laughs> we are calculators. We're like, oh, what do we? Who's everybody involved? Yeah. What should we? <laughs> yeah. Is there a place to jump? Are we in? gonna like, make this worse? I don't yeah. want. I don't want to cause a scene. <laughs> you know? Maybe I mean? I'm not the one who should be making this. Decision. All kinds of know. excuses. <laughs> She's gonna jump in right away, and she like the way how some people can be like so blunt behind a keyboard. <laughs> She doesn't need a keyboard. Uh-uh. Nope. She'll be. She'll say that shit to your face. Uh, and th- like, she works with autistic children six to eight hours a she day. Does the Lord's work? A. She doesn't have time. She doesn't waste time with having to leave a hate comment on someone's YouTube video. A. B. This shit doesn't matter to her. You know, like yeah. being a fan of Game of Thrones, being the person who reads the books, being someone who is into comics. She's been to Comic Con more than she, I've never been to Comic Con. She's been more than yeah, John yeah, has yeah. been to Comic Con. You know, <laughs> um, so she, this is just a hobby for her. Uh, yeah. She she leads a very important job, much more important than what we do. More important than what we do, and. This is just some. Like, she's not phased by this. The opinions of others do not affect her. Yeah. Literally, a lot of people who come on the show because we're performers, and a lot of us are performers because we want people to love us, you know, and we bring joy in mass yeah. so that as many people love us as possible. I, I've learned a lot about her about being more honest, and I feel like as I get older, I naturally get more honest. Being with her, I become more honest. So. With being more honest, I'll admit that, yeah, I have more people-pleasing qualities way more than my girlfriend does. Like, by a million percent more. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so she, she's not, so I wasn't concerned about that. So this post is not about that. But acknowledging what some people are concluding that I put that out there because of her. I'm like, no, you, there's a reason why you go to our season seven reactions, why half those comments are disabled. Yeah. Because... It it can it, it, it can get to me of just, uh, I know it comes with the territory I know women have it harder than we do. And in fact, this really isn't a big deal. The, my, when, the days when I was Ryan Wright, oh, trust uh, me, if you were around <laughs> then, you know I've dealt with much worse. A whole lot of stuff to unpack back then. I'm talking about years of shit. <laughs> All right? That, like, I've dealt with way worse than any of this. Uh, I just felt like I could put it out in another community post. I, I could risk the chance of saying something that could tonally come across incorrectly, but I'd rather just put it out here. Yeah. Just say it here, you yeah. know? As Essentially, a, we're all just trying to enjoy Game of Thrones. It's all anybody wants here. That's all we want is just to enjoy Game of Thrones, you know? So I know I had an emotional response this morning with the community post, and um, I do feel like, yeah, maybe I'm not going to be the, a person who's uh, an idealist to the degree of I, I can change the way the internet reacts to things and the way the internet treats people. I know I'm not going to, but I can go out there and say I really don't agree with it because like I said, I'm a big believer in attacking the problem, not the person. If it, 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 That comes with me, it comes with John, it goes for Olivia, it goes for anyone who comes on this channel. It, for example, one, one of the top comments on this post is from, is from a, a lady who... Uh, gave a really good post about being that I that I should be someone who's willing to accept feedback and constructive criticism, and it's a really really good post. And I replied back to her. And the thing is, I do. You there? If there's anyone here who's watching who has left a comment that was critical of something John or I said or did, and we replied back to you in not a hateful way, mm-hmm. but actually talked it out with you, it's because when there is that there. We listen and we will usually, if we want to, we'll reply and we'll engage with you or we'll correct ourselves. If you feel like, you know what, this person's actually right. I should correct myself. Uh, I will do that. I mean, just, just for example, right now, actually, with the person saying, uh, uh, what is it about the, uh, fuck, what was the phrase I said wrong? Um, the meaningless views, oh. right? With the person saying meaningless views and, and a couple people getting upset by that. Mm-hmm. I didn't attack them back. I I read it and I said, ah, oh, you know what? I could see how this miscommunicates. Oh yeah. So let me address it. Not yeah. go, fuck you, you misunderstood me, you know? Yeah. And and the the thing is, when we're talking about this issue, I'm not talking about I have an issue with being construct getting feedback and getting constructive criticism or disagreeing on an opinion. That's that's not most of the comments I'm yeah, referring. Yeah, the problem is you don't wind up with a comment section filled to the brim with constructive criticism. Well, look at this even keel thought process. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. really had him. You know, I really like you, Greg. You However, look- I kind of disagree with your opinion on this, and here's why. It's usually 
whether it's the guest or us, yeah. it's fuck you, you guys suck, annoying assholes, get a lot. It's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's nastiness. I it, mean, there's, it, a, know? there's a whole lot of different <laughs> stuff in every one of the comment sections, but I will say that while it is all not vitriol necessarily, it's not all any one kind of thing. And so, yeah, there is constructive criticism, but it's all, you know, uh, buried in firsts and yeah. in constructive criticism and just compliment. Like, just, there's so much that, yeah, ultimately, yeah, we should be able to yeah. take constructive criticism. And a lot of the time, the feedback we're getting isn't actually that. <laughs> yeah. You know. Like, there's constructive criticism, which I always appreciate. I always appreciate yeah. feedback, positive comments, sure, whatever. Or even if it's a comment, yeah, like constructive criticism. Then every once in a while, you know, there's a silly one that just kind of makes me go, yeah, just, like, there, there are ones that I don't agree with that just, I, I just shake my head out, like, okay, that's just kind of silly. Mm. Like, one, like, one of many examples I can give you <laughs> is with this TV show reaction, this is a 55-minute episode, right? Mm. Something like that? 55-minute yeah. episode, can only show 10 minutes of the reaction on YouTube. And there are comments of people going, you, not just Olivia, like, all three of us. You guys just keep talking the whole episode. You guys just keep, like, I would not want to watch this episode the first time with you guys. And my thought process just immediately goes, because I told that to our editor, Eric. And he's like, it would actually be much easier for me to make a 10-minute cut of you guys not just talking. Just because just it's, not even, yeah. it's reaction highlights of 10 minutes. And yeah, it's, it's an hour-long <laughs> yeah. show. And at a certain point, i got to imagine that you're going to want some flavor if, in there beyond if, just... Like, what 10 minutes do you want? Do you want the 10 minutes where we're being quiet? Or do you want the 10 minutes where we're giving a reaction to it? And yeah, it is... A, it is we are commenting... It's a. Hey, it's it. We know it's. We are There's well aware a it's mystery science theater. We're, in there. we're well aware it's not your first time watching the episode. We and the ideal way to watch any not, of these episodes is not in a ten minute cut up spaced yeah, out format. We know it's yeah. not your first time. We we know that. And the whole point is like we're aware. There's a like, I don't know what this is where some people expect reaction channels to. Completely forget there's cameras and lights pointed at them, yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, because there's no acceptable rubric for what a reaction channel is supposed to be. So you're either not reacting enough or you're reacting too much or, you know, it's, yeah. <laughs> there's no way to satisfy everybody. And so, yeah, you just kind of got to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've got to react, not react. Like last season, there yeah. was a moment where it was a casual line and we didn't really react to it. And we were like, no reaction, fuck this. You know? Yeah, <laughs> like, that's, yeah, it's like... So the, there's no real metric for it. The, the way we approach reactions is we do come from a genuine place. We always go what we're feeling. That's what we always do. We and our approach is whatever we're feeling internally that you know, like we're, that we're even like in a theater when we want to be respectful and not make a lot of noise or whatever. We treat it as if like we're ha we're hanging out with a group of friends. We're aware that there's a camera pointed at us, and the whole point of it. And when we say we're aware of the camera pointed at us and the lights are on, is that we feel like we're watching this with a group of people. Even if I'm by myself, I feel like I'm with a group of people. Right now, I don't feel like it's only John and I in the room, and we're just ha like, yeah, it is only John and I technically in this room. But I'm aware there's people watching aware this. Of yeah, the others out. <laughs> so I'm, I feel like I'm with a group, and that's the whole point when we're doing the reaction is like we're doing a group reaction yeah, we're watching and when you're with a group people talk people chat people comment you know people yeah. people let out what they're feeling there's supposed to be some kind of communal some sort of even infectious energy hopefully yeah, yeah. that makes the video fun and that makes it enticing and that makes you want to stick around and watch with us as if yeah we're all hanging out we could do it how if we like for people who if we could do it just the way we do for movies and shows when we're by ourselves um, literally, is we turn off all the lights. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good luck getting a camera pointed at us yeah, for then and getting a reaction. Infrared reaction. Yeah. And so, yeah, but it is it is still genuine. It is still coming from, like, that's, that's what I always tell people is, like, so what am I supposed to do? And I'm like, well, just be yourself. Just let whatever you're feeling internally, let it out, you know? Yeah. Just express. That's the whole point. That's what we always say is express it. Express what yeah. you're feeling. That's Don't all. Don't talk over prolonged bits of dialogue, but yeah, express yourself. Go with what you're feeling. Yeah, and I'm primarily be engaged to what's going on, but just express your feelings. So yeah, yeah. like some of these comments are like comments like that are just like silly to me. Yeah. Like, what would you? Yeah, I'm half tempted to be like, let's just troll them and just 
do the 10 minutes where we're not reacting yeah, <laughs> yeah, to, to show the, that we can be quiet during this. Do the <laughs> reaction tea time edition where we just don't do anything. We just sit there and stare blankly for yeah. 10 straight minutes. Um, so, yeah, I mean, looking over the community post response and seeing that at the end of the day, what I always tell people is, look, if people are upset, you'll, those people usually come. It's like Yelp. Most people yeah. go to Yelp. Not to praise a place, but to go, fuck, man, fucking Starbucks didn't give me my drink Take on time. <laughs> yeah, you know. And they were going to know how I feel. No, this restaurant, like yeah. most people will, a lot, I don't know, I can't say most, but a lot of people do. And I feel like that's the way it goes with YouTube comments. Is So even though I would say majority of the comments on our video are a lot of hatred, there's mm -hmm. some defenders or some people really praising, there's still a significant amount more likes than dislikes. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people to go off of that because more people, at the end of the day, if you do the combined total of likes and dislikes and the combined total of comments, there's always a lot more combined total of the likes and dislikes. Mm -hmm. So considering the fact that the video has more likes than dislikes, a, a significant more, and we've seen a lot of support in the community posts. Yeah, we'll still continue to do in Game of Thrones. We'll do we'll, for you guys, <laughs> you know, because like I said, getting to monetize is, is, is like we're lucky. We're it's not in our hands, it's you know. Miss. And, you never and know. It, 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 it's not in especially our hands. with these, which are like we're taking ten minutes of even though it's cut up to bits and it's definitely not a yeah. substitute for the actual episode. You still never know what which network is going to want to claim, and at a certain point, fair use they can sort of do whatever they want. Yeah. So, you know, we are at the mercy always. When this got demonetized, it was for 16 seconds. So whatever 30-second rule you've heard or 20-second rule, sometimes it's five seconds. And sometimes <laughs> you go in and you cut that five to 16 seconds out entirely and then you re-upload it and there's just a different yeah. match <laughs> yes, that's yes. identified. You know, like, so, there are a million still, ways to But we still applied. put it up. We still yeah. put it up, you know, and... Um, and the reason we encourage people to go to our Patreon is like, yeah, of course. It's, the whole idea is equal, fair exchange. It's like, we know that there are channels that have Patreon pages, do reactions, that have their stream-along reward tier uh, higher than what we offer. And it's just to compensate the time dedicated to it. Because we do reaction highlights for uh, these mm -hmm. things. And not all of our... Re like this video, I intentionally said, let's make this one uncut. So that way people know there's no bullshitting going around yeah. here. Like that's why I wanted this one to be completely uncut. I mean, arguably, maybe it should have been. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but Podcast. But the thing is, too, is, um, you know, like if you, if you watch our format, I'll wrap this up. If you watch our format, if it's the giant trailers... If we have time to shoot the intro beforehand, we'll do that. And then we'll edit that. And then the rest is uncut. But if it if it's not one of the rush, like, oh, shit, St Star Wars or Lion King just yeah. dropped. We got to do this. We'll always edit the videos. And we spend, uh, on average, an hour to two hours editing the videos before the reaction and after the reaction, cutting those up. So we do make the time to edit. And a lot of those videos aren't monetized. So, um, you know, that's why we do encourage people to go to our Patreon page and we do think that uh, we, we would like to break even to on hiring an editor. Like, yeah. I, and I've told the editor that, Eric, I've said, I don't care to profit. I, I really just want to break even for what we're paying you. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. Because we we're wanted... doing this. You could ask him that. We're doing this for you guys. Yeah, yeah. We just yeah. want so this we just, to be time yeah. and cost efficient. That's all. So, yeah. I mean, we just... I wanted to get this out of the way. Get this off my chest. I know most people don't make it to the end of this video. I want to get this off my chest because... With getting affected by the way this morning went, I wanted to just be to let it go, get let it out, go. and then go back to just enjoying the show that I love. Yeah. You know, that we love, we all love, we, we all have a difference of opinions. It's a days it's a political show with very in depth, complex characters that some people will love, some people will hate. And that's part of the joy of it. And everyone's gonna have a different opinion. I'm letting <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna read any more comments <laughs> on the Game of Thrones videos. Yes. <laughs> so I don't expect grudge. me to read any of those. Um, I'll put on the deep sea diver yeah. suit if we absolutely need to. And <laughs> What's I'll funny is and... John is way more of a people pleaser than I am, and yet he reads way more comments than I do. <laughs> I find that kind of funny how you're, <laughs> you're able to discern yourself better then for one. me, where I'm like, man, fuck these people. I <laughs> have one superpower. It's kind of strange. It's strange because in real life, you have a much more challenging time with that than I do. But, it's, it's but with the, comments, I'm like, oh, you assholes. I yeah. think it's the only place where I have a healthy sense of like, oh, well, these people don't know anything about me, really. 
Yeah. But it's not that big a deal. <laughs> yeah. um, anyway, okay. thanks guys for watching. We're going to continue doing Game of Thrones, and uh, let's get back to just having fun. Peace.